Which nation will be the real global power of tomorrow? There's not much doubt it'll be China. And according to a new global poll conducted by the BBC World Service, that doesn't sit too well in many parts of the world. In Germany, more than 50% now have a negative view of China's growing economic power, up nearly 10% from just six years ago. And in the United States, there was a similar jump, with 54% now seeing Beijing's strength as a potential threat. Well, scientific research is another area in which China could soon be leading the world. And if its current dizzying rate of progress is maintained, it could come within three years. Measured by the number of published research papers, Chinese scientists are already in second place. Behind the United States, and as our correspondent David Shukman discovered, they're gaining fast. A land of ancient invention, China was first with the plough, with writing paper, and with gunpowder, a hothouse of science now rising again. One ambition is in space. Chinese research has suddenly accelerated. The aim to use science to regain a global lead. They want to catch up with the advanced countries in science and technology. And uh, uh, probably in, in maybe by 2050, China wants to be one of the leaders. In Chinese labs, they're working on future medicines, microscopic machines, new sources of energy. And Britain's National Science Academy, the Royal Society, has forecast where this will lead. With figures like Isaac Newton, the West has dominated global science for centuries. But look how things are changing. Take the publication of research papers. Fifteen years ago, America pumped out nearly 300,000. Back then, China way behind. But three years ago, America was up slightly. And look how China has been massively catching up. And it's even now set to overtake. Think what Charles Darwin would have made of that. Some of China's research is done with scientists from other countries, so some advances can be shared, but not all of them. For us, it's a good thing because we can benefit from their developments, but we have to be aware that if we want to remain a top player in science, we can't rest on our laurels. So how is America reacting, still the world leader in science? Well, China's research is a concern, but there are doubts about its value. But it's certainly nothing that keeps me uh, awake at night. Uh, you know, in the university world in the United States, we do our best to judge the quality of publications and not just the, the quantity. But for how long? China is investing massively in science, and it hasn't forgotten who first gave the world rockets, and a lot more besides. David Shukman, BBC News.